A sage in my life insisted that I meet him. It is imperative, she said in Portuguese. The doctor of the arts, the community leader, the sweet soul, Jose Eduardo. Jose and I were meant to be connected so that we connect us. Us, the US, the Afro descendants of Baltimore, with Bayanos, Afro Brazilians. My unique position as an Afro-Brazilian American gives me a unique call to be a connector across the divide of my dual nationality. To show up despite the language barrier so ungraciously gifted to us by the colonizers. To reach back to where my family now samba dances with joy, despite what feels to many of them like the trap that is a favela. Out of Baltimore, a black city as Bahia cities are, has sprung great art. Like Bahia, its colonizers' ports in Fells Point and the Inner Harbor were some of the largest participants in the transatlantic slave trade. All disenfranchisement of Black communities, poverty, strategic pushing out of people from opportunities and their homes, racism between communities, can all be traced back to the lies spread by slavery, white men in power, and social institutions and norms of division. Like Bahia, Baltimore has created art which speaks for itself. Transformative art, resistant, disruptive, gorgeous, within a community that chooses unity above competition and division. Unity, unity, unity. Like Baltimore, from Bahia derives art enough to transform favelas to cover museum walls in vibrant paintings and fill floors with Afrocentric wooden sculptures. Bahia produces art which speaks for itself. The art you're seeing is located at Acervo del Laje, a necessary revolutionary space embedded in the seaside base of the favelas of Bahia, Brazil. It is a museum full of the works of the brilliant Afro-descendant invisible artists of Brazil. In its two multi-story houses, which also have back rooms filled with archives. I pass my fingers across its shelves of curated handwritten stories, music recordings, photos, and local newspaper archives kept to preserve stories for the legacy of the community. Stories which are typically devalued, ignored, or left unseen by popular media. In the time I spent at Acervo de Laje, I was also captivated by its extensive programming for youth of the surrounding neighborhoods in which it is unusual to find any community centers or resources, especially not ones focused on self-esteem, the value of ancestral origin, and the recognition of the beauty of blackness. Funds are very low. Acervo de Laje sponsors in Brazil are facing the challenge of a struggling economy. But somehow, Acervo de Laje must go on. I am here to publicize the work of Acervo de Laje and raise funds. Jose is elated about our efforts to provide funds for the maintenance of their space and for youth programming. We are already connected, Baltimore and Bahia, artists of the African diaspora, designing new narratives within a reality not designed by us. And I envision our connection expanding into dialogue by art or even into a co-creation of something altogether new, an Afro future of our own design.